We are back with more What's Now, and I recently had a discussion with Eric Jackson, a kayaker who's a world champion and much, much more, all about hearing loss, how it impacts individuals, and what you can do. Let's take a look. Hearing loss has been shown to affect nearly every dimension of human life, including physical, emotional, and mental health. Joining us now to discuss the impact of hearing loss on his life and what people can do to help hearing loss is U.S. world champion and Olympic kayaker Eric Jackson. Eric, thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me on, Christine. So can you tell us about your own experience with hearing loss and what you have done to cope? Um, my hearing loss st started when I was little. At age two, I had scarlet fever. So as long as I can remember, I had hearing loss. Um, I didn't actually know I had hearing loss until I went to kindergarten. My mom and teacher pushed my, t my uh, desk all the way up to the teacher's desk. So I literally was sitting front and center in front of everybody else. And, uh, and it occurred to me really quickly that I couldn't hear like other people. Look, the teacher was facing me. I knew what she was saying. And if she was facing the chalkboard, I had no clue what she was saying. Um, and that was uh, that kind of how things started, you know, all the way through college. Um, that's how I sat front and center. Um, if you wanted to be my friend, you really had to uh, want to communicate with me. Um, so typically my conversations were like somebody would say something, I'd say what? And they'd say, never mind. And I never really knew what was going on. Um, but I did learn to lead, read lips really well. So if you and I were at a restaurant in Park City and you had a friend on the other end of the restaurant that too far to hear and you wanted to know what they were saying, I could tell you what they're saying. <laughs> so there's, there's a benefit of, uh, of hearing losses. You, learn, you can learn to read lips. Um, but luckily, uh, you know, there's these things called hearing aids. Um, and what most people think of hearing aids and the stories they've heard about hearing aids are, it's all old technology. So the, my first set of hearing aids was in college, and they were absolutely terrible. They were not enjoyable to wear. I would only wear them occasionally if I absolutely had to, and I'd always take them off. And it's only been in the last, um, in, in my last set of hearing aids, which are these ones right here. It's, I'll take them out so you can see them. These are the Resound Ones. Um, this is the first time in history where um, I'm falling asleep with my hearing aids on, meaning the experience that this, the technology is providing is enjoyable Like, and they're super comfortable. I don't even know they're on anymore. Um, before that, you always knew you were wearing hearing aids and uh, given a choice, you'd take them off unless you needed them, but not anymore. That's really impressive, actually. And June is, mental, is Men's Health Awareness Month. And we know that men are almost twice as likely to have hearing loss. As a dad and husband, how does hearing loss affect those relationships? Um, well, let's just start with a husband. Um, my wife likes it when I uh, respond properly to her questions or if she asks me to do something like, hey, can you go get some bread, butter, and milk at the store? Um, when I come back with, if I don't come back with all three of the things that she's looking for, um, she's not very happy about that. <laughs> because that, uh, that causes, it, causes her a challenge. So um, relationships are all about communication. If you can't communicate um, effectively, uh, it strains a relationship, whether it be you know, um, family or friends or at work also. Um, so yeah, having, um, so anyway, it, it's a major challenge if it's not corrected, your hearing isn't corrected. Uh, just try to imagine being you know, Christmas morning where everybody's somebody opens a present and they're talking about the present or whatever or talking about something and you don't even know what the subject matter is it's um it's just really hard to enjoy uh enjoy your family enjoy your relationships because the things that they're saying are important to them important enough to say it and if you can't hear it you're not you're not really part of that family and part of that communication at that time so um the fact that it's so easily corrected with uh, a modern day hearing aids like my Resound ones, um, it's everybody needs to look into it if they even suspect they have hearing loss. It must be really difficult. I'm impressed with how you've been able to adjust and adapt. And you mentioned your hearing aids. I'm curious, um, why is it so prevalent that people put off getting a hearing aid? Is it comfort? Is it the issues that you had? It's, it's a combo of things. Um, you know, it's like, uh, um, it, the main, so several, things. number one, hearing aids it, it used to be really bad, basically. Um, so bad that 
that nobody would have hearing aids and say, oh, these are amazing, I love these. It's like, yeah, I need them, but I don't want them. Uh, that is, that's, so that's the kind of feedback people have been getting since hearing aids were invented. Um, but technology has, in, has finally surpassed and finally provided that positive experience where you put hearing aids in and the whole experience, they're comfortable, they're small, you can't see them, um, they connect to your phone, uh, you can listen to music, listen to outside, what's going on outside, or you can listen to music and drown out the outside noise, you can talk on the phone. Um, so it's just that people aren't aware of, of how good they are now compared to what they were. Um, and it's, they also don't know how easy it is to, A, get your ears tested and to get fitted with hearing aids today. Like, they can actually adjust your hearing aids remotely. Like, while you're at home, you can call the audiologist and say, hey, can you do this or that? And they do it right from their office to your, to your home. It's pretty amazing. That is amazing. And what should people do who are experiencing hearing loss? What's the first thing they should consider? Um, well, the first thing, like whether it's you or somebody, you, you know somebody that you think might have hearing loss, um, until it's tested, you don't really know, like, you know, are my eyes bad? I don't know. I think so, but I'm not sure. Or my, is my ears bad? I don't know. So the step one is go to resound.com. They've got an online test that you can take that takes like five minutes. Just like a quick screening. So R-E-S-O-U-N-D. -E so it's resound.com. Go there. Take the test, and they'll let you know if you have hearing loss or not. And that's, like, quick and easy. And if the answer is yes, then you schedule an appointment at an audiologist. Um, and there's plenty, like, in your local area. When you go to the audiologist, that's also super painless. The test is, like, 15 minutes. And when you get your results for the test, you'll, you'll get a visual graph that shows your hearing loss. And that graph shows at every frequency. And then you'll show normal hearing. And when you see the gap between your hearing and normal hearing, that's when most people are like, ah, oh, that makes perfect sense. And then when you're like, oh, this is in the frequency range of speech, for example, you're like, oh, well, that makes sense. Um, so like my speech is real, or my hearing is really bad in women's speech frequencies. So, so, which is why if I don't wear hearing aids, I don't know what my wife's saying. <laughs> Well, where can we find out more information and find more resources about everything we've talked about today and follow along with you and everything you're doing? Just uh, You can find me. Just Google Eric Jackson Kayak, and you'll find me on social media. Um, go to resound.com for more information on hearing loss and, uh, or hearing aids also. And then take that online test and just see what those results are. Do you have hearing loss or not? That's a good way to find out. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Eric, for joining us today. I appreciate this important conversation about hearing loss. It's been great to learn more about you and hear about your experiences. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you. Have fun up there in Park City. Thanks for watching this episode of What's Now. I'm your host, Christine Napier. For more great content, be sure to stay tuned. I'll see you next time.